So I've just stepped off the plane here in Calcutta. Say goodbye to Sarah and Japa. She is flying back to New Zealand tonight to start work as a glacier guide. I booked the cheapest hostel in Calcutta, so hopefully I can find that tonight. It's about 9 p.m. now, and there's meant to be a train or a metro going to a nearby to the hostel. Hopefully I can walk from that. Absolutely no idea if it's gonna work or not. This is arriving in Calcutta. You will notice in this video my eyes are starting to swell up and go red. I didn't know it at the time, but this was the start of a painful couple of weeks for me. More to come about that in the next videos. You can take this actually with you. Okay, thank you. So, uh, it would be better if you take a cab. I won't take a cab, cab is too expensive for me. I always like the cheapest option. Mm. So bus I think is good. I would suggest you to take uh, Ola or Uber, it would be like far better. So I just got some help from Tanya at the information desk and she told me to grab an Uber, except I don't want to take an Uber. I want to try the public bus and she said the public bus is in this direction. I've got a few bus numbers that I need to find. Not sure if it's a great idea to be doing this, but hey, I'm here to give it a go. So let's see what happens. First person I've talked to in Kolkata and she was really friendly. So that's a great start. Here we are, back into the steamy hot tropical air. I said about 35 degrees. So the instructions say to walk for 14 minutes. I've already had a few rickshaw drivers try and get ready to go with them, but I'm not going to. I'm going to give this bus thing a go. And I think the bus station is up here under the big overbridge. So I'm going to let me Wi Fi at the bus stop, and I managed to find out exactly what number of bus I needed. Um, and it was AC37 and it was right there in front of me. The buses here don't stop, they keep moving and you, and you have to run to get onto them. So I'm off the bus, that was bus ride number one. Now I just need to find bus 213. That's my second one. Now the only problem is I think I got off the bus like one stop too early. So I've just got to walk about 300 meters till I can find bus number 213. While we walk, I thought I'd just share three travel tips for you guys. Since I know some of you guys are travelers yourself. Tip number one, always look like you know where you're going. Back in the airport there, when I stepped out of the airport, I have no clue where I'm going. However, I just walk in a straight line and look like I do. That way people leave me alone. If I walked out of that airport and looked lost, I would have had 20 or 30 taxi drivers surrounding me, mobbing me, trying to get me to go with them. As it was, there was like two rickshaw people came up to me and it was pretty easy to say no just because I looked like I knew what I was doing. Now tip number two is use your technology. These days we have these amazing things called smartphones and they're in our pocket and we can do anything on them. So for example, I'm following Google Maps as we speak. I've downloaded my Google Maps so that, that way when I'm not on Wi-Fi it still works. And then I've got my hostel saved on there. So again, if I lose Wi-Fi, it doesn't matter. And then just to be extra sure, I took a screenshot of the directions that Tanya gave me back in the airport and that way I can't lose it. Tanya also gave me a paper map so if I was to lose my phone or drop it then I can still make it to my hostel. I also have a battery pack in my bag and that's a backup so that my battery and the phone isn't going to go flat. Now since we're on a roll travel tip number three is right now I'm walking through a city at 11 o'clock at night. I have no idea really where I am or what, you know, what I'm going to find um, and I've got all of my life with me right now in my backpack. So if you look at me, no one's going to know where my valuables are. So I'll just let you in on a little secret here. My valuables are not in my backpack, my valuables are actually here. My essential lifelines if you will, that is my passport and money are actually in a money belt which is down around my crutch at the moment 
it's got a very strong strap on it so it's never going to break. So far this has kept them safe for six years and if someone was to try and rob me they're not going to look that far. That's my theory. Never had a problem yet. Now in my backpack I've got my expensive laptop and my hard drive with all of my photos and stories on it. That's pretty valuable as well. It's in the middle of my backpack. No one can get into my bag. If someone was to try and snatch my bag and run, it's quite heavy. So therefore I think I will be able to outrun them. At the same time, not travel tip number four, travel with a carry-on bag only. My bag is around 10 kilos. That allows me to be able to take out my laptop and a couple other things, take it onto the plane with me. And that way I can be quite nimble and fast because I've got a light backpack getting off and on buses and in and out of crowds of people. So I went to the bus stop for bus 213 and I met a local dude there who reckoned the bus probably wasn't going to come but he is going to the same place that I'm going and he's walking so he invited me to come along Now, what's your name? It's really hard to pronounce, sorry uh, Myself, Shahabir Khan I am from Kolkata, West Bengal, India and I am an independent filmmaker from uh, Kolkata, Bengali film industry and uh, filmmaker come actor and uh, I have my own channel on YouTube NTJS Venture uh, please search go uh, subscribe like share and comment and uh, I really like Chris as a great human being I just met with him uh, just beside Science City and uh, really in uh, just uh, past few minutes or about 10 minutes I think it was wasn't it Three to five minutes. <laughs> Maybe five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not too long anyway. So he's going to show me the way to my hostel, which is awesome. So just tell me a little bit about where we are. We are on uh, yeah. the side of uh, Chan Number Bridge. So you leave now, you go this way to your yeah. home? Yeah. Uh, this way? Actually this way. There's my way. Perfect. And then, so I'm going to keep going this way, I think it's maybe one more kilometer. Uh, almost, we are about 1.5 kilometers. Thank you very much. And we're going to have lunch tomorrow at 12.30, right? Yeah, 12.30. I look forward to it. It's quite common to see people like that just sleeping in the street. I've only seen one on this walk actually, whereas in Delhi, like, we saw hundreds probably on a tuk-tuk ride. It was crazy. So that was just a little bit more interesting. I had a couple of people following me for about five minutes just then. One of them was definitely bigger asking for food and stuff, but he persisted, he kept following me. I was a little bit worried, but I, I kind of said, no, go away, and he did. So that was a relief. So I'm almost at my hostel. Definitely been a fun adventure, and I'm really glad I took the public bus and not the Uber just because it's been a lot more fun. If you liked the video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm looking forward to Kolkata tomorrow. I'm gonna to go and have a look at the city by day and hopefully get out some really fun things. I've got a good feeling about it. Everyone I've met so far has been really nice and genuine people um, and that's awesome. So stand by for some more of my Kolkata adventures and until next time, cheers for watching.